Hey guys, Pirate One here. Today I'm going to show you how to import a custom model over any object in the ROM with custom collision. So let's start this. For this, you'll need to know how behavior scripts work, which I'll explain just a little bit, and how to edit the object and stuff like that, and how to import with custom importer, which is pretty easy. But anyways, so let's start here. We have this nice cloud model here, and I'm going to import this over my Super Size 64 ROM so we can see it move up and down. So we'll have it use the up and down behavior, which is located in our behavior scripts. Our behavior scripts that text. I'll go ahead and move this up so you can see. Oh, it's there we go. Now we have the moving up and down right here, which you can just do by a quick search, just find and then moving up and down. So this one of course just makes the object move up and down repeatedly until it stops. We have our command right here. Commands usually start with a four byte code, something like this. 0, 0, number, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the second number will determine what kind of uh, object it is. Like for instance, 0, 9 means it's like a solid object that doesn't have any specific interaction, and then there'll be other ones like 0, 6 and 0, 4 which actually have interaction with like interactive Mario and stuff, but we don't need to worry about those for this. So we have 0, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0. that's usually the start of a hex command, and we have the end of it, which is the 0, 9, 0, 0, 0, 0 command. And this is the 0, 8 command, which is the start of the loop. And this is the end of the loop right here. So to make sure these are in your code, or else it's not going to work, because you need this right here. This right here is the function for collision, or interaction with collision, I believe. So 0c calls any kind of function. As you see here, there's two other 0c's here, which you don't need to worry about. Those are for the moving up and down assembly code. But here we have 0c and then ends with 80, 38, 39 cc, which is for all collision objects. If you want your object to have collision like this and not like interact with anything in terms of like uh, doing damage to Mario and, and other stuff like that, then you'll need to use this right here. Yeah, keep that like that, 80, 38, 39 cc. All right, so. Now then, the command that's important here is the 2A command. The 2A command is what sets your collision pointer and the collision of the object. So we have it at 2A00, and then this is the original collision pointer of the ROM, which we don't need to worry about. We'll be overriding that easily. So you need to find a 2A command in the behavior. So since this is at 21D930 in the ROM, right here, we'll go to there in our ROM file. So I'll go ahead and resize this back down. Gonna resize that real quick. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoops. Everything getting resized. There you go. All right. So now we have it open in our hex editor. Let's go ahead and go to and the ROM. 21D930, which is the same address right here, ROM address, 21D930, and this address here is for Toad, so we don't need to worry about that right now, so let's ignore that. Let's do this, okay. And we have the start of the command, which is 00, zero number, 0000, zero, 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 all the way down to here. So this is our entire command. As you see here, we have our 2A command, which is 2A, and then 0702ADAC, which we'll be overriding. So now, if you go to your level importer custom importer, which I've imported the model in already, we have custom importer, and we have collision pointer right here. This tab is where you'll change the collision for the object. So let's say we want to replace the uh, castle in the sky from Rainbow Ride. So the right now it sets it to 0000, zero, 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 zero whatever, just so much zeros. Let's go ahead and import this model in the ROM and see what happens when you do that without editing collision pointer at all. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set this in real quick with Quad64, and I'll show you what happens. Alright, so I've <laughs> imported the model in the ROM. Mario. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. It's kind of loud in my ears. But yeah, I've imported this now, so let's go ahead and into the ROM. So if we poke the, if we approach the object right now, it should, it should crash or it shouldn't do anything at all. It should not interact with Mario. Let's go ahead and walk up to it should be right here and there it is right there it crashed the ROM this is because it's not the right collision pointer so let's go ahead and change that so as you see right here in quad 64 
I have imported the model to into the ROM with the Castle in the Sky model, which is model 15. And I have set the behavior to moving up and down, which is set by this one right here. In the behavior scripts, the hex behavior, which says 1300 3B30. If you're using Toadstool, it'll just say 3B30 and hex. And if you want to find any, uh, if you want to find the location of the ROM address from the hex behavior in Toadstool, just open up your calculator and do the hex address in Toadstool, which is 3B30. Oops, I'm not in hex mode. 3B30. Then add 219E00, which is the start of this uh, bank right here. 219E00. That's the very first object, which is the starter behavior. Now this is if you want to use these objects in this bank right here. And for writing your own hex behavior, you can just write anything in here and it'll work fine. But so now that you've done that, go ahead and go back to the thing. I've set that to the moving up and down behavior. And so I just saw it crash before. Let's go ahead and change that to where it doesn't crash. So if you recall, the 2A command says collision like I said earlier. We'll need to find the location where this starts right here xx xx or something like that this insert number here that's eight or four bytes long so we have 070288c this is located at 21d93c the offset is right there so you'll put that into your collision pointer part 21d93c 21d93c and press check the import collision tab and press import model now let's go ahead and open that back up in let's open that back up So this should not crash now when you approach it. And there we go. Let's go ahead and wait for it to come back up. I put it close to the ground. And as you see right there, it's working right just fine. Alright, so now we've got that, if you want to do some other things without having to mess with interaction, you can just go to collision and set it to any collision you want. So say we want, um, what's something that will kill us? Lava, I can do lava, quicksand, let's do quicksand. So we'll go ahead and set quicksand. Go back to our custom importer, make sure import collision is checked under rainbow red, get our value again which was 21D93C import collision and do that. Nope. Now play. If you want to look at the ROM right here, you can tell that the collision was edited right there. It says 7 is FB78 now. So that's how you know it worked. Now if I step on this, it should kill me instantly. And it does. But alright, we are all good. So eventually though, you'll be able to use it in other ways, like this is just moving up and down objects. Eventually you'll be able to do stuff like this as you saw in the dimensional sphere video I made. We'll go into Shine Sergeant Painted. I've done this actually in Shine Sergeant Painted too. So let's go ahead and open up this one right here. Normally these pl platforms would not be here, but I set them to where they appear after a certain start amount. So now they're there. You'll be able to do stuff like that. Um, and other stuff like this over here. Hi Mips. These boats look kind of weird right now, but you'll be able to do stuff like this too. Like the boat side in Shining Stars 3, where they have their own collision. But, alright. Oh, the other thing you can do with behavior scripts is... Let me go ahead and go to the course 1 level and show you the dimensional sphere again. Let's go ahead and go over there. Just real quick.
yep. you'll be able to do stuff like this. And it has an inclusion, as you see. You touch a specific spot, it'll burn you. And it'll kill you, too. Like this. Alright. That's just a nice short tutorial on how to import custom objects and stuff in there into your behavior scripts. So if you want more behavior scripting tutorial, you can check out Kazi's video for that. Or there'll be like other, I'm pretty sure there's a tutorial by Arthur and he'll upload that. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hope that helped. Alright, bye.